Kia ora, my name is Thomas Harrison. Um, I live in New Zealand and I work for the government. Uh, I think my understanding of the reo has impacted me in, in several ways. One of them being um, understanding in general. I, I find that a great impact for me because it's, it's quite a unique language and I'm, I'm happy to, to be able to speak it and overall understand um, the Cook Islands language. I do know there was a time in the past where uh, I'd say embarrassing in, in quotation and in exclamation marks, embarrassing to speak um, Cook Island as English was seen as more dominant and um, sort of the greater of the, of the languages. But uh, at this day and age, I think we, we as a nation, the Cook Islands nation are, are speaking more of it. Um, and so I'm, so I'm, I'm quite happy with, with the way it's progressing. Obviously you can, you can improve uh, a lot better, but um, yeah, it's, it's a slow but steady progress. To simply put it, um, speak it for a start. Um, may it be little uh, words or sentences um, speaking to your kids. Treat it like something uh, I'm sure anyone else can, can speak a foreign language like bonjour or konnichiwa. Just instead of that, just focus on uh, the Cook Islands language. And again, sentences and, and phrases here and there. Um, eventually you'll get the gist and be able to put words together and, and be having a conversation in no time with, with anyone from the Cook Islands. We've got to adjust to, to the younger generations and stepping back to social media. A lot of the younger generations are, are with social media. Be that from way back from, from Bebo to, to, to YouTube, to Facebook, um, Instagram, and the ever so popular uh, TikTok at the moment. So I guess give it, getting an educational platform across uh, social media will involve a lot of the, the younger, newer generations. So in layman's terms, I do miss speaking the language, especially in New Zealand. Um, there's not many people you can speak it to and with. So I love going back to the Cook Islands because you can speak it a lot and pretty much anyone there can, can pick up on the language and you can converse straight away. So I, I, I'm, I try to make sure that I'm not going to lose that, uh, that language. I know it can be embarrassing and, and learning a new language, but hey, if, if you master it, you can speak two languages. Some of you may, may even be speaking three languages. So it's it's not, it's not anything to be embarrassed about, so um, I'm happily proud that I can say I can speak two languages somewhat fluently, but hey, I can speak two languages and you know, that always looks good on a, on a CV, so don't be embarrassed about uh, learning the Cook Islands language. <laughs>